Hey there, this is Uri aka Sonic Logic, and today I'm going to demo you how to use uh, Sonic Logic with Reason. Uh, actually, this is the second time that I've used Reason. I just downloaded it and having lots of fun. What we're going to do today, uh, we're just going to look at the uh, subtractor synth in uh, Reason, which is uh, I think is really cool. So I've started a new project and I've added the subtractor synth. I'm just going to add the uh, matrix matrix sequence to it. Let's hear it. Simple enough. Let's make something that will be more interesting. That's nice. Okay, so let's make a new um, arrangement in Sonic Logic. I'm just going to call this uh, Reason. Create it. Okay, so I'm going to take uh, the subtraction synth, and usually the first thing that you want to do, you want to uh, control the filter. I'm adding a new pad here. The X axis is going to be the cutoff, and the Y axis is going to be the Q. So, how do I map uh, controls to reason? It's pretty simple. I'm going to take my mouse, go over the filter um, filter knob here, and just go right click and press Edit Remote Override Mapping. Then I'm just going to move the X axis, the knob over the X axis, and I can see that it's getting MIDI signals because I see the blue line on the control surface activity. I'm just gonna say OK. And now let's take the frequency, the Q here, move it up. So let's control the filter, which is really cool. Okay, so what I want to show you is one of the features that Sonic Logic has. Sometimes, you know, I want to control uh, a pad and I don't want to move the knob exactly. I want to, whatever I press, I want it to move too. So I'm just going to pro go to edit and I'm going to select touch anyway here. And this is really cool because you can just go like this and you can see the cutoff and the Q change. Okay, let's add some effects so it won't be that boring. I'm going to add um, let's add a delay here. This is a classic. And also, I want to uh, control the reverb here. So I'm just going to go to the main mixer here. This is my subtractor channel. And the send effects for the reverb is over here. So I'm just going to add a new slider. Click every motor right mapping, moving the slider, and voila. Okay. Now I've got my reverb set here. Okay. So now let's make uh, a filter angle. For each envelope that we know of consists of four uh, components attack, decay, sustain, and release. So I'm just gonna duplicate that. I'm gonna take a slider. This one is going to be my attack. Take this, I'm gonna duplicate this. This one. I, uh, by the way, I can take just two fingers and duplicate components by two fingers swiping them, which is really easy to do. Take the sustain, oops, sustain, and release. Okay, now that I've done my editing, just going to map this in reason. Right click. Okay, let's 
so there's an action. Okay. So you know this sequence is like really boring, so let's add another one. Okay, so now what I want to do, I want to be able to control uh, and switch between the first sequence I've done here and the second one. By the way, I know they're both really, really dull. <laughs> But it's just for the demoing, so it's okay. So, this will be sequence number one, and this will be sequence number two. Okay, so what's problematic here? When I press the button, it stays, stays pressed on. And what I want to do, I want to make a different uh, behavior for it. I want it to release when I release it. So I'm just going to switch on release after touch. And let's map this to the first sequence. Right click on it, edit remote. There we go. Second sequence, let's hear them. Okay. Let's add something interesting here. Um, let's add a distortion here. Let's hear it. This is nice. But what I want to do, I want to trigger a behavior when I press a button, the um, distortion starts, and when I release it, it uh, finishes. So I'm going to make a new button. And this one. It's going to be distortion. Okay, so first thing I want to do, I want to press uh, release button after touch, which means, okay, don't do anything after I finish touching. And here, if I look in reason, I can see that I have three behaviors on the uh, selection knob here. One is bypass, one is on, one is off. So let's just listen what each one of them does. On is, of course, distortion. Off, turns off audio completely and bypass, bypasses, bypasses the effect. So what I want to do when I press the button, I want it to be on, when I release it, I want it to be in bypass mode. So I'm going to edit this and I'm going to say, okay, when I press the button, I want it to be in the on value. Since I have three values here, bypass, on and off, when I set it to zero, it will be on bypass. When I set it to 64, it will be on on. When I set it to 127, it's going to be on off. So the on value is going to be 64 and the off value is going to be zero. Let's map this in reason. I'm going to choose that little distortion knob. Every remote over blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. I did something wrong. Why did I do wrong? Let's set the off value to the other side. Maybe it will solve it. Okay. Let's see it here. So as you can see, this effect turns on only when I press the button and when I release it, it's off. Um, okay, how about some beat? Let's take... Uh, drum designer, put it here. Okay, nice. So I'm gonna take, let's make a beat section here. I'm just gonna move these, make them a little smaller so it'd be easier for me to edit the beat section. I'm gonna add a button here. Okay. Since usually these things go by notes, I'm going to select the button to be as a note. 
and I can see right now nothing happens. So let's find out how I control this. Now what I need to do, I need to figure out where this starts in reason. Okay, I can see that this one is one of the bass drums. Let's go a little lower, see if we can get something. No, so this is the first one. Okay, let's duplicate this. Let's duplicate these. Again. And yet another. Oops. Okay. Nice. Okay, let's hear it with my synth. Okay, but I want to be able to record from Sonic Logic. I don't want some other exterior uh, control over okay, it. So what I was doing before, I wanted to record some drum tracks. And I was going to the transport bar and I'm just going to right click that over my mapping. I'm going to press the button that I've added here. See that I identified it. So when I press this, I'm getting the recording behavior. Okay. As you can hear, this was a very lousy recording, but just to show you how easily this could be done. I can map um, whatever I want here. I can map the play button, the stop button, and uh, whatever. So just quick recap. It's really easy to control reason with Sonic Logic. You just right click anything, every mode override mapping, and you know you map it to your setup. So I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Sonic Logic is going to come up uh, very soon, the end of November. I hope you all download and enjoy it and make awesome, awesome tunes. See ya.